Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the login functionality using Selenium web driver. So let's begin. First, let's understand the functionality and then we will see how we can automate the login of that particular website. For this tutorial, I will be using the demo website of Orange HRM here. So I will be typing Orange HRM here. So this is a website, which is a demo website, open source dash demo dot orange hrm life dot com. So here they have also provided the username and the password. We need to provide the username here and password and then we need to click on login. So first, let's see how it works. I'm typing the admin here, then password admin 123 and let me click on login. So these are the correct username and password and it will take us to the login page and after login it will redirect us to the main dashboard. So that's how this login functionality works. Let me log out from here and now we need to automate this functionality. Now open the Eclipse and here in Eclipse what we need to do is that we will be creating a new file here so I am using this package here I'm going to this one here going to the class and login automation okay. and let me change it to login now we will select this public static void mean method here click finish and from the previous scripts I will copy the base thing like we need to provide the driver and we need to you know create the instance of driver driver class so I'm copying these steps from here even this one from here and let me paste it here so these are some basic steps which we need to do and now what we need to do is that we need to provide the username first then password then need to click on the login so let me type here comments provide username okay so for that first we need to identify that element and after identifying that element we can perform any action on that particular field or the element Okay, so I'm going here back and here I just going to this particular field here, right click on this one, go to inspect here and here I'm using selectors hub and we can see that the ID is available. Okay, so I'm copying the ID from here and now let me go back here. So in order to find some element, so we would be using driver dot find element by dot id and here we need to provide the id right so after doing this we have identified this particular login or username field now what i will do is that i will save this value in a web element and i will name that as a username so web element equals to username equals to this one. So I'm saving this value as a web element and the, and the name of this particular web element is username. So I'll import web element here. Now what I can do on this field. So in ideally what I need to do is that I need to provide the username which is admin in this case as they provided and also we can perform multiple things here so i would be using username dot and here you can see we have a multiple option if there is text already written you can clear this one you can click on this one okay you can get accessible name of this one you can get the class of this one get the CSS string value there are so many options available for you to do on this particular 
field. So commonly uh, what I need in terms of automation is that the first thing this field should be displayed. So I will go with is displayed. Then similarly what I will do is that I will go here is enabled right. So this particular field should be displayed and it should be enabled. Then I will type something here right. So now in the third step I will type username dot. So how I can provide a text or how I can type in this particular field. For that we have a method called send keys and here we need to provide our text. So text is admin and that's it. So provide the username for that we have done couple of steps here. We identified this field. We checked is either this field is displayed, enabled and if this is so then we should be typing this one. Right? Let me copy all this from here and let me paste it here and now I will do the same thing for the password field okay and I will change this to password password and password and let me go here and let me inspect the login functionality here and again it's a unique and ID is available let me copy this one from here and paste this here and again I need to provide a text and the password they have already provided here is admin123 let me copy this one and go back here and we need to provide the password now after providing the password what we need to do is that we need to click on login right so I'm copying this one from here and I will do some similar options over there. So now I will be clicking on the button. Clicking. Login. Button. So I will change this as login. Button. And let me copy this one. Change it here change it here because this is these methods are also applicable on the button so we want we we really want to see either the button is displayed or not button should be enabled or not and if button is enabled then we need to click on this one so we need to change this part from here then we have a method which is click and that's it and now we need to identify this button separately for that I'm going back here again and let me click on login and we have a unique ID so I would be going with the ID again here and here I will provide the ID so we have done some basic steps here which will eventually you know do the login because we have provided the username we have provided the password and then we are clicking on a button so let me save this one and see what happens here and one more thing we use is driver.manage.window so we can manage the window as well you can maximize or minimize the video so let me run this one and let me click on Java application and see what happens. So browser is maximized to open the application and now it should provide the username. You can see username and password provided and now it logged in successfully. Now there is a problem. Problem is that our ex script got executed successfully. However, how our script will know that our login worked perfectly fine so in idle we need to assert something here we need to tell our script if for example 
we got this welcome poll here then this means that application logged in successfully similarly you can choose any kind of a element from here and you can assert the value so for that let me close this browser here and let me go here and let me log in this first here admin then admin one two three and let's log in and after login we need to see this one welcome Paul so I'll inspect on welcome Paul and you can see that we have this one so now this has a ID welcome and this has a text welcome Paul okay so let me select this ID here and let me go here now what we are doing is that we are asserting to ensure that login worked properly okay and uh, let me copy this one here and let me copy some details from here so we need a web element here and this web element let me remove this one from here and this is welcome right and and what we need is that we need to provide the id here so for that let me go back here copy the id from here and let me paste it here and from this particular element what i need welcome dot i need to get the text of this right so get text we have this particular method here and let me terminate this field now let me first ensure that we are getting this particular value or not so what i will be doing here right now system dot out dot print ln and under the print and ln i'm just printing the value which I will, I will get from this one so i'll copy this one and paste it here okay and let me save this one now run the script and see what happens if i get the value welcome paul this means my direction towards automation is correct so it's got executing it's logging now and after login so let me go to the eclipse here and you can see that it's printed welcome paul here okay i'm copying this one here and now what i will do is that right now i'm just comparing the text but later on we would be using the proper assertions in automation so i'm creating a string here string actual or like it and that string is welcome paul okay so i just created a string expected value and this is welcome paul and i'm also getting a value from here so let me put it into a string as string actual value equals to this one right i'm commenting this one as of now because we have already verified this one so we are expecting this value and an actual we get some value and this value would be placed in actual value now we need to ensure if both are equal if actual value is equals to to the expected value 
here actually we need to provide double equals to in order to compare these two values we need to open the body of f so if these values are equal then what we need to do we we need to print system dot put dot print ln and what i need to print here is that if these both values are equal then print test case passed okay else what we need to do is that let me go to the else body here else system dot dot print ln and against this I need to print in case if both values are not equal then this case okay so we are done with our code let me save this one and let me run this one and see what happens so usually we do not use if and we compare the strings we would be using proper assertions when we will actually work on either test ng or j unit we will use proper assertions at that time so let me go to my scripts again and it says test case failed because last time when we were actually creating this script we were getting welcome paul but right now we open here it says welcome quota so that's how you can automate the login functionality of any of your web applications thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next tutorial